Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI in our The Elder King series. So we are on episode 17 of The Elder King, as usual, uh, in a few episodes when we when we hit episode 20 of this series, which we may very well get the culture victory by then. We're accelerating at such a rapid pace. Uh, we are going to take a break and go back to Alexander for 21 through 40. Well, I would imagine it won't even be 40 episodes of Alexander. We should be through with that one in another 10 or so. Uh, but, you know, you know, actually conquering the world and dominating you know the map is take is going to take a little bit longer so maybe we'll hit 40 who knows and then i want to return to the elder king i wasn't planning on it but this series has gone in such a way that i would like to have a lot of warfare towards the end so i've talked about it in the past couple of episodes but just to confirm i will in fact be coming back to this series and trying to conquer some of these at least some of these uh other civilizations, even after the culture of victory has been won. Haven't normally done that, but not a lot of people do that, I don't think. Uh, so I think it'd be a fun kind of change of pace to do that, because I'm enjoying this series. I think it's gone unusually well. So in that spirit, I'm going to mess around. But also, I need to uh, do some coastal raiding here. Uh, it turns out I can't, because I don't have enough movement points just yet. But I can go ahead and ruin this guy's day. Please tell me that's not a nuke, and it's just a standard... <laughs> okay, there we go. Whoa, watch it. What's happening here? Oh, okay. It has multiple animations until the entire thing is dead. I think that's the first time I've attacked with a nuclear submarine and seen that whole animation play through. Not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so we've got this destroyer here hanging out off the coast. Been a few days since I booted up the game. Let's see. Yeah, I guess for these two, I'm just gonna kind of hang out here and see if they send anything out to say hello. I think that's what we were doing before, so I'll just stick to that. Now, these are desert tiles, so I can't do anything there. Any tiles that I can improve off the coast, perhaps? I don't see it. No, I didn't mean to select a trade unit. Hmm. There's not a whole lot. I mean, there's a tile here that I could potentially buy. I bet you I can, as a matter of fact. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll send you out there to improve it. It's going to take five turns. That gives you something to do. And this builder also needs something to do. Why don't you come over here and see if we can build another <laughs> coastal resort. Because I think that tile would be good for one. Now this tile, this uh, particular, ooh, this city needs food. So maybe trade with Tarsus because that's a nice food and production bonus. Pasargadai is the identical bonus though. So it doesn't really matter which one I trade with. Why don't you just keep trading with the capital then? And then your food problem immediately goes away. I love it. All right, so now we have you. I think there was a shipwreck here. I think that's why this person was here. But what about... Good, I can investigate this one as well. This should be a Lisbon artifact. Yep. Yet another cultural artifact. And there's the last of our points for that. I was going to say astrologer. Archaeologist. It is almost turn 400, 1966. The flower children are out in full force. Although I suppose technically it might be another couple of years. Oh, cool. So we stole drinking alone by moonlight from the city of Sparta undetected. So that mission was successful. We've had several successful missions in a row now. I think this spy is at the maximum level. So it's just a matter of continuing to hang out here and and stealing as much as we can. Let's go ahead and just go for another great work heist because you're, you're having a good time there. This is our primary competition, Sparta was, for the... Um, for the culture victory, so it's good that we're staying on top of that. I also, I do need to launch the moon landing, but I don't know that we have that technology researched just yet, because the moon landing gives you a pretty substantial boost. No, I, I guess we do. No, we don't. Satellites. So, notice that it grants a one-time culture bonus equal to 10 times your science per turn, and is the second step for a science victory. We're not going for a science victory, but that culture boost will come in handy, so we're definitely going to go for that. We've built a nuke in Pasargadai. Let the fun begin. Now, yeah, let's go ahead and work on a mobile sim. We want to make sure we have air defenses set up before our allies, or not our allies, but our neighbors get too advanced. Yeah, you guys just hanging out, me or hang out rather. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and coastal raid this uh, <laughs> seaside resort. Good bit of gold from that, so that was nice to see. Now this artillery unit is going to be promotable before long to a rocket artillery, which is which I'm very excited about because we can use that in multiple ways. <laughs> China continues to try and send units across the border through this body of water, and it's just not working for them. 
I'm I'm not. I, I don't think this is the best display of of the Civ Six AI's um, abilities, guys. I don't I don't think it works particularly well. All right, we have a battleship here. Ah, China wants peace. Big. Oh, whoa. How's that for a peace deal? If you're willing to give me that much, I wonder if they're willing to give up any cities. No, they're not. That'd be great if they were. Well. <laughs> I was going to see if we can get, get them to give up both of their horses, but they can't. 102 gold per turn for 30 turns. On, a, on top of a huge lump sum. Okay, I'll take that deal. If you're going to give me that much, appreciate it. I'll be back for you, buddy. We're still at war with Gorgo. But, but she doesn't have any borders alongside us, so... Alright, so our submarine's back out here. We've wrecked their... Um, you know, we probably could have done a little bit more coastal raiding before I took that deal, but when I saw the deal that we were going to get, you know, it was just a matter of, I should probably take this. All right, we're going to leave these destroyers off of China's coast. This nuclear sub is going to hang out right here. You guys all just hang out. This artillery can be promoted to a rocket artillery. Fantastic. Great to see that. We're going to go ahead and position them in the encampment next turn. And then we have a spy. Is this the one that needs to be guarding the industrial district? Yes, it is. So you just counter spy and go right back to guarding the production of Pasargadai because that city has become a production powerhouse. We are 33 turns away from finishing the Estadio de Maracana. Now, I do have, it looks like, room for another trade route. It shouldn't be showing 7 out of 8 in between turns unless I had an extra, so... I'm a so... big laser believer. I really think they are the wave of the future. <laughs> Interesting choice of quote there. <laughs> from Courtney Cox. All right, so we need more trade route. Okay, so evidently we do have a trader that just needs an assignment, weirdly enough. All right, let's go ahead and go for satellites. Three turns away. And then we'll launch the mood landing as soon as we can. Oxford University in Zronka is something I've been looking at for a while. I think someone even asked me in the comments recently if I was going to build it. I probably should. Um, it would help me finish out the tech tree for sure. Yeah, let's go ahead and go for it. Well, no, that's the problem, though. That's the issue, is that in Zronka, it's, it's not the best tile to build it on. So instead, I suppose, well, I could actually replace one of these with an industrial zone. That's a possibility. Let's see. There's a plus two there, in fact. Yeah, let's go ahead and put you there. All right, so this nuclear sub can, in fact, launch nukes, but we're not going to do that just yet. All right, so here's our trader. We're going to move this trader to Susa and give them something to do next turn. And you are going to build a seaside resort. Awesome. How are we doing on that culture victory, guys? 170 of 306. Gorgo is falling behind. China's actually gaining a little bit, oddly enough. All right, so this battleship is going to need a promotion. I can go ahead and take that promotion. As a matter of fact, it's now a missile cruiser. Now, I might have some additional units which are promotable, seeing as how we just got a huge amount of money from China. So let me take a look around and make sure I don't have any other units sitting around that... Yep, see? Field cannon is now a machine gun. This is why I double-check these things. This ranger's just been hanging out for a while. Machine gun's been hanging out for a while. I'll tell you what, you need to go ahead and position yourself in that encampment. Please. Okay, let's improve those fish as per the plan. And then how much does it cost to purchase those crabs? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that too. And next turn, we'll improve those. Builders have pretty much improved every tile that they can across our territory, which is nice. Including the bananas, which no one can work. Which of all my important <laughs> nothing shall I tell you first? All right, so now we have access to online communities, which gives uh, extra tourism for civilizations, which we have a trade route to. Now, that's not going to affect... That's not going to be effective for us right now. Uh, we are suzerain of one city-state, so that's not going to be that helpful either. Uh, let's go ahead... I'm not going to change policies, I don't think. I just don't think... We don't have civilizations... Um, Yeah, we're, we're trading quite internally at the moment and successfully. So I don't think we need that policy. E-commerce, plus five production and ten gold from international trade routes. 
So there's a couple of re a couple of incentives from the game to to trade with other nations, but given our internal trade route bonuses as Cyrus, I'm really just to tell you the truth, I'm not to tell you the truth, I'm not feeling it. All right, so we could get suzerain status back on two different uh, two different uh, city states at once right now. We can go ahead and get suzerain on Seoul and Vilnius. All right, that's done. So China has just declared war on both of them. That's funny. All right, so now we have access to a few more civics and we're almost done. Capitalism. Nuclear program. And of course the future civic. This is just pure points. So, so yeah, let's go ahead and go for the old ones just to flesh out the civics tree. And yes, we need maximum production from this trade route. So go ahead and trade with, looks like Tarsus is the way to go. Didn't even shave that much time off, unfortunately, but Seuss is not in production focus. Uh, well, it's not actually changing anything. Surprising. Unfortunate that that wonder is taking so long. We're 12 turns away from another citizen, so maybe that will help a little bit, a very little bit. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're going to improve those crabs because they're not improved yet. And then those should hopefully be within our territory pretty soon. Starting to hit that point where we struggle to look for things for builders to do, you know. Can't complain, though. Oh, actually, you know what? This missile cruiser does actually kind of have a purpose. I want to make sure that it can guard that settler. That settler's on the way out to settle that island. All right, we have a spy in the Chinese capital. And I kind of want to go ahead and just sabotage their production. <laughs> like a jerk. And we have a pretty good shot at doing it. All right, so we've improved those. And the builder does have more charges, does not. Nope, that's it. All right, rocket artillery can just go on alert. Settler looks like there, there are going to be locations for that settler to uh, land on, but we need to wait until our missile cruiser arrives and eliminate some of those barbarians. Culture victory, how are we doing? 178, okay, hasn't really changed too much. Again, once we get the the moon landing actually launched there will be a little bit of a boost that'll help us out there yeah you just hang out for a bit yep improve those very nice six turns away from the mobile sam and then we'll start on the moon landing right away in pasargat i might actually go ahead and switch to the moon landing next actually that would be the best thing to do china's built a spaceport in chengdu so we are gonna have to keep an eye on that because someone right could now. win Remove your spies at once. I'm just going to pretend I didn't nothing hear that. Nothing better to do than help you find your way to the grocery store. <laughs> Pretty much. The inherent so, vice of capitalism oh, two at once. is the unequal sharing of blessings. The inherent virtue of socialism is the equal sharing of miseries. Okay, so market economy. Your international trade routes provide plus one gold per luxury and strategic resource improved at the destination as well as plus two culture and science. Still international. All right, let's go ahead. I don't want to change policies. I just want to pick a new tech to research. I kind of want to go ahead and research uh, stealth bombers. We're not going for a tech victory. So, I mean, I mean, yes, ICBMs are good in terms of warfare, but then again, so are bombers. So let's go ahead and work on those. I also can now promote some of my infantry up. Let's go ahead and work on that since we have so much money that we're getting from China every turn. Absolutely insane settlement deal that we got from them. All right, was that our only infantry? Do we not have any more infantry? I mean, it's not horribly surprising. Almost done with the helicopter here. Where else do we have... Let's go through all of our units and see. Oh, okay, it's just going between units that need orders. That's not helpful to me. All right, let's go for the nuclear program. We're done with the civics tree, which is quite nice. Oh, no, we had a spy. So, to be honest, I, so where, this is in Pella. Okay, this is the one that Alexander discovered. So let's go ahead and just return on foot. And they were captured. People were talking about how, you know, you can go for the return on foot to increase the likelihood of them getting back. It just takes longer, but... Nope, they were captured. So let's see if we can get him back from Alexander. Do they, we have a, a spy of his too, don't we? Man, we have look at all these all these great works we have. What would it take? 
I'm not going to give you foxes. I'm not going to give you that much gold per turn. Hmm. Okay, so you're willing if I take away foxes. Oh, if I take... Okay, cool. All right, in that case, I'll do it. So we got our spy back from Alexander. It's a shame that they were captured. I'm surprised, considering that all of our spies are higher level. Let's send them right back. <laughs> Have them keep working. And then this guy... Yeah, we need to move you to another Chinese city. Let's put you in Chengdu. Because that is a more productive city that I need to mess around with. That's their second biggest city. Actually, no. It is. It's actually their biggest city, and then their capital is their second biggest, funnily enough. All right, so our missile cruiser is arriving, so they can clear the area for this settler. Alexander's not going to be happy with me, but he'll deal. Ah, oh, Caesar won't be happy with me either. Trajan. Trajan is going to be displeased. <laughs> okay, now... Tashba doesn't have any need for, an, for a neighborhood just yet. A spaceport could come in handy, but again, we're not going for the science victory, so not really that necessary. Why don't I go ahead and go for the sewer so that we continue to have a good housing situation, and I'm going to bring this helicopter down here. We are going to declare a surprise war on Cleopatra, I would imagine, pretty soon, within an episode or two. 26 turns away from the Estadio. I really want to get that because I feel like if we get that wonder, if we can get to it before China does, because I'm sure China's going for it, there is a possibility, a very strong possibility, that we will not have to worry about amenities for the rest of the game. And that is a very appealing thought to me. All right, we have a lot of money. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase the workshop. I can also purchase a naturalist. Let's go ahead and do that so we, so we can do a natural park. I don't think we've done one yet. Okay, we don't have an amenity problem here, so let's go ahead and work on building a factory. Extra production there. And then down here, this city is actually not growing anymore, interestingly enough. If I put you on production focus, you actually grow. Okay, good. Put you on food focus, you're fine. Hmm. Let's go ahead and build an observation balloon to back up that rocket artillery, because then we can fire wantonly into their territory if that is backed up by <laughs> if that particular unit is backed up by rocket artillery we're good okay so this is a ranged unit but it doesn't appear that there are any barbarians close by oh hello submarine nice to see you all right well what we can do then is go ahead and have our settler right here this unit is capable of attacking onto land that's why i brought him over here missile cruisers are amazing There we go. The release of atom power has changed everything except our way of thinking. The solution to this problem lies in the heart of mankind. If only I had known, I should have become a watchmaker. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, that's right. It has to attack these one at a time. Kind of like the submarine did. Kind of obnoxious. All right, so that's that. And we can go ahead and this is a this is an average tile. This is uninviting because of the jungle nearby. As long as it's here near the Galapagos, I don't mind. So let's go ahead and bring the settler up onto land. Can't settle just yet, but I don't think anyone can get to me in the next turn because they're going to have to cross... Not only go through jungle, but also cross uh, that river. So hopefully that settler will be safe. Let's go for the future civic. Okay, what do we have here? Go ahead and purchase a shrine in Tarsus. Purchase a temple in Tarsus. Purchase a meeting house with faith. Oh my god. So their production just went way up as a result of that. And yet, Oxford University might be the place to build... Or Tarsus might be the place to build Oxford. There's a lot of production in Tarsus. I'd have to build it up there, which would remove some production and food and a little bit of gold. But you know what? Let's go for it. Let's just go for it. It's going to be 35 turns. It's a ways away, but we're about to gain another citizen, so maybe that'll help. Um, okay, so we stole another great work. This time we had to run away because they did find us. Now, where can I establish a national park? Right there. 
Right. So you're going to come down there and establish a national park near Scar E or Shar E Kumis. All right. Our helicopter is in place. And put you on alert status. Our hangar is almost done in Hagmatana. That's going to help us build up more planes. We're almost done researching stealth technology. How we do it on that culture victory. There's actually a couple of civilizations going for the science victory now. Culture victory, we are closer than anyone. In art and dream, may you proceed with abandon. In life, may you proceed with balance and stealth. Hmm. Interesting choi uh, choice of quote for that particular tech. All right, let's go for composites next so we have access to modern armor. Then we'll go for nuclear fusion so we have access to thermonukes. Thermonukes should render these incoming wars, um, I think, uh, pretty manageable. So, gain sources here in Chengdu, definitely. We need to level up a little bit, gain a little bit more power before we do anything. Now let's go ahead and found a city. And wow, okay, they have... Doing that somehow created more units, not sure quite how, but we're going to eliminate the anti-tank unit because they're the strongest. And then this new city, let's see, we could buy those crab right now. Tell you what, let's go ahead and buy that tile. Lots of money. Okay, and then, oh wow. Now, right now we don't have a lot of production in this city at all. It's been a while since I've had a new city. I'm disorienting. All right, so if I do a build focus, then it's only 83 turns and then it should take, let's see what the yields are. Yeah, there's not a lot in the area. Crap. Gonna have to maybe buy some tiles. Again, we're, we're getting massive amounts of gold per turn for another 21 turns from Qin Shi Huang. But or it's, actually, it's it's Qin, it's, uh, what is it? Qin Shi? Qin Shi Huang? People have been talking to me about the uh, about the Qs. It's actually the Qs pronounced with a CH. <laughs> People settle too close. Um, apologies, I will look elsewhere in the future. I'm gonna go ahead and say that because I doubt that I'm gonna put another city on this island. So we've got a little bit of a colony going now. Sargada, you are ready for your moon landing. Go ahead and do that. 25 turns away. And this mobile Sam. I kind of just want to have the mobile Sam hanging out here. So let's just put you to sleep and you can, if anything happens to fly towards my city, we'll be good to go. Let's go ahead and gain sources here. And eliminate the last of the barbarian units near our brand new city. Three turns away from new citizen, so that's going to help out. And we're going to go to the next turn. Let's turn yields off. It's a lot of clutter on the screen. Eight turns away from that mobile Sam that's been taking forever to build since the last episode. 22 turns away from the Estadio. 33 turns away from Oxford. Seven turns away from a new citizen here. Five away from a new citizen there. That could help in both cases. Move your spies at once. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear it. Escape route. Foot. Damn. Okay, so they, success they they did successfully evade capture. So that wasn't a total loss. And it looks like we also had the opportunity to attack. That's a good range. Holy crap. All right, so barbarians, I think, have been dealt with. And that missile cruiser, as a result, is also promotable. All right, established national park, which should help us even more with the culture victory. Yep, we are over the two of three marks, so we're two-thirds of the way there. Science-wise, there are some other civilizations going for that victory, so we need to keep an eye on them. Use our spies to great effect. We've got a missile cruiser almost done in Ray. I don't think we have any cities with amenity issues. Ah, oh, China's not happy. Hmm. You have more wonders. <laughs> yeah, we're about to have even more, so you better stay on that, buddy. And also, we have a spy in... Oh! I no longer have a spy in Xi'an. We were going to try and wreck their production, but... Evidently, that, that was one of the missions that failed. That's annoying. All right, well, Tushpa could probably benefit from... I don't know, Commercial Hub would be nice, actually. Aerodrome would be good, too, but I, I kind of want to keep focusing on my economy for now. Because that path has been working so far. So let's go ahead and build a Commercial Hub there. And then this spy here, this is a level 3 spy. Let's go ahead and put this level 3 spy in Xi'an. 
This is the one I want to send to their capital. And then we're going to mess with them like no other. Oh, man. More barbarians. I can't complain. It's just leveling up that ship faster, but still. Turn 400. In less than 20 episodes, too, for that matter, which is shocking to me. Okay, that's that. Missile Cruiser is ready for a promotion, but we can't do it till the next turn. We'll tell you what, we are 25 minutes in. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one here. And in the next one, we are going to hopefully finish up the Estadio de, Mar Estadio de Maracana. I'm talking way too fast. We're going to build Oxford University, maybe as well. And we might also end up at war again with China, because China's starting to denounce us and just generally act all feisty again. So if they declare war, then we're going to coastal raid the crap out of Xi'an and uh, potentially take a city or two from them, because we finally have the ability to deal large amounts of damage to them. Especially if we took Xi'an, because I, I think that's where they have the majority of their uh, wonders. I know I saw the Colosseum here somewhere. I think the Colosseum's right there. Now, this is a great library. Is that the Colosseum? No, that's Apadana. Yeah, taking... Oh, here's the Colosseum right there. So, yeah, taking Jean from them would be a huge coup against China. And I think I'm going to be able to do it, to tell you the truth. Using Navy units. I think I can take it from them, because it's not that well defended. And if I were to wreck their units up here and maybe bring this rocket artillery down, maybe another unit of rocket artillery, I think we can pretty easily take care of that. Maybe even conquer all of China relatively easily. So, we're going to probably start that before the 20th episode, I would imagine. But I'm going to let this turn cycle. And in the meantime... Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video. Oh, hey, how's it going? Uh, you want uranium, huh? Nah. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out, as usual, every day at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.